Welcome, and thank you so much for coming. It is so beautiful to see all of these faces out here. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, my, my name's Larry Didway, and I get to be the superintendent for Clackamas ESD here, and we are delighted to welcome you here tonight. Um, students, teachers, and families, and all of those who are here in person, as well as those who are viewing us online tonight. Uh, we are really excited, again, to be holding this in person after uh, it, for three years or two years now that we've had to do this virtually and um, we're really excited to welcome you to the ESD. We created this annual art show in 2017 to provide a regional showcase for our talented student artists and we are so grateful that this event has become a really beloved tra tradition here in Clackamas County for our local public schools. Uh, I have a number of thank yous that I want to share with you before we begin presenting more than 30 awards tonight to student artists. Uh, and I want to begin with a few special individuals and organizations. I need to thank first our three very generous sponsors. They are Pacific Northwest College of Art, One River School of Art and Design, Clackamas Community College, and these three organizations donated all of the prizes that are awarded to students this evening, and those prizes this year total more than $175,000. So, thank you. Yeah. Now, just so I didn't get somebody too excited, that's all divided up to different individuals, so. All right, and we also have some uh, special thanks to Tenmaya Bingham of One River School and Anna Miltenberger and Jataya Carr of PNCA, and Jataya is here with us tonight. And she just recently moved here from Atlanta, so we want to give her a warm welcome to Oregon. Uh, and Amy Kanata and Nicole Sims of CCC, Clackamas Community College. All 154 students who had their art submitted for this year's show uh, we also want to say thank you to you. These students come from middle schools and high schools in eight different school districts in our county. Amazing talent and creativity has been demonstrated through their work. And if you are a student whose work is displayed here tonight, we would ask that you would stand so that we can celebrate you. Thank you. And there are 27 art teachers who took so much extra time to curate their students' art, to register it in our show, and to deliver art to here to our facility. And we know that those teachers have more work on their plate than ever this year, and yet these teachers made that extra effort to give their students' talent a showcase. We absolutely couldn't have made this happen without your efforts and without your enthusiastic partnership. All of the participating teachers' names appear on the screen behind me. And as a small token of our thanks, all of our participating teachers will receive a set of note cards that were developed and feature at least one entry from each of them in this year's show. So, um, if you are a teacher whose art hit, or student's art has been displayed here tonight, we'd ask you to please stand so that we can share and celebrate you. Thank you so much for being here too. Our panel of six judges who spent many hours adjudicating all of the artwork that you are viewing here tonight and all of them are artists themselves. Uh, they come from different corners of our regional arts community, and every one of them noted how deeply impressed they were with the quality of student work as they were going through this show. I want to give many thanks to this year's panel of judges, Tenmaya Bingham, Nora Brodnicki, Kimberly Kent, Nicole Nathan, Lisa Smith, and Thomas Wasson. Let's give them a show of appreciation. And finally, there are several other individuals who helped make this show possible tonight. I want to give many thanks, beginning with our CESD staff members, Rod Bashore, Pam Bonner, Shelley Merlino, 
Amy Matoni Paul, Mark Dodge, Amy Rivers, Laurel Roth, and not to be left out, Shirley Skidmore, uh, for their endless amount of organizational and logistical support and all of their support um, from several other staff members this evening. I want to say thank you to them. We also want to recognize James Van Hoos of Creative Asset. He created our virtual gallery, and he's here tonight helping us live stream our event. Uh, Janice Kaiser of Venvino Art Studios. She is the mother of one of our student artists who is contributing additional prizes to several of our award winners tonight. And I believe Janice is here tonight. No, no she's not. OK, she planned to be. And, and perhaps she's watching us live stream. Uh, and once again, Lisa Smith of Youth Arts for Change. She helped us prep art for the display here. Uh, she's helping us expand the reach of our art show by curating a special display of student pieces that will, you will see during the month of May in the lobby of Clackamas County Public Services Building. And I'll share more about that exhibit at the end of this program. So now let's get on to the awards. And I'm going to invite up here to help us present those awards. Two board members from Clackamas ESD are Chair Byers, Wade Byers, and Vice Chair Brown, Linda Brown. And if you would stand here. Thank you. you want to go in the front of that table there? Well, Linda's going to go first. Yeah. Oh, OK. All right. So we're going to talk about middle school awards first. Um, as I mentioned, there were more than 154 entries in this year's show. The show runs the creative gamut, paintings, drawings, photography, ceramics, and other three-dimensional art. I, I want to share with you that personally, as it's been displayed here over the last several weeks, I've really enjoyed coming in each day, wandering through and always noticing something new and different. But more importantly, it's been fun to watch our guests and our staff interact with the art over time as well, and to see the joy that it brings to so many. So thank you for sharing the, these pieces with us. Our awards are based on total cumulative scores for all, from all six of our judges, and it's really important for us to share with you the judging and the scores were tight. These were tough decisions, so really everyone here is worthy of recognition. Several of the students winning awards um, were not able to be here tonight, uh, and we will work with their teachers to make sure that they get their prizes. We'll start with our first place winners for great prizes for our sixth through eighth grade. First place winners will receive one month of one class at One River School of Art and Design, one camp at One River School, pre-college discounts on a summer at 2022 PNCA program, and a hundred dollar gift card for art supplies from Venvino Art Studios. Our second place winners will receive two months of one class at One River School, a pre-college discount on a summer 2022 PNCA program, and a $50 gift card for art supplies from Bambino Art Studios. Third place winners will receive one month of one class at One River School, pre-college discount on a summer 2022 PNCA program, and a $25 gift card and art supplies from Bambino Art Studios. Our honorable mention winners will get one month of one class at One River School and a pre-college discount on the 2022 PNCA program. For sixth grade, our third place award is presented to Christian Kaler. Christian is from Meridian Creek Middle School in Wilsonville, and he shared with us his digital landscape titled Multnomah Falls. Thank you, Christian. Second place. Second place goes to Quinn Seidlum. also of Meridian Creek Middle School, and that's for his digital portrait of If Chopin Was Alive Today. Yeah. 
And finally, it's a sixth grade sweep for Meridian Creek Middle School with, <laughs> with first place honors awarded, yeah, awarded to Marcelino for his, uh, Vu for his striking digital portrait, Practice Makes Perfect. Isn't that beautiful? Let's move on to seventh grade. We have two honorable mentions at this grade level and they are awarded to Mage Corbett and Avery Rimmer of Athey Creek Middle School in Tualatin for their paired mixed media sculptures, Hariath and Aniora. Our third place winner is Addison McNutt of Cracksburger Middle School in Gladstone for her graphite portrait drawings titled Mariana, Maria, and Cool Girl. <laughs> Second place honors go to Ella Ha of Lake Oswego Junior High School for her untitled watercolor of a lionfish. And our first place award goes to a seventh grader and is presented to Emily Paul of Inza R. Wood Middle School in Wilsonville. And Emily did a beautiful collage of paintings and drawings mounted on wood titled Upstrung Blue. Our final middle school ca category is eighth grade. We're awarding third place to Anwesha Chowdhury of Athey Creek Middle School. Anwesha did a reflective colored pencil piece, Stories Empower Me. Our second place winner is Gabby Moultrie of Meridian Creek Middle School for her creative digital portrait called Flower Girl. And our first place honors at eighth grade go to Leonardo Navarro Gonzalez of Baker Prairie Middle School. Leonardo did an intricate ink drawing titled Brave Samurai Avenges Their Fallen Master. Yeah. Let's give a hand to all of our middle school award winners and all participating middle schools. Now we're going to look at ninth grade awards. As I mentioned earlier in our thank you segment of our program, our regional arts teachers uh, play a really essential role in putting together this yearly exhibit. Those same art teachers are working year round to inspire a love of art in our students and help them turn their creativity into amazing paintings, drawings, photographs, ceramic pieces, and so much more. It was important to us to integrate the voice of those teachers into tonight's program. So I'm pleased to introduce Alyssa Tran, an art teacher at Malala High School, to share a few thoughts with us and also to present our ninth grade awards. Alyssa has been teaching art to secondary students for the past 16 years, and she joined Malala High School team in 2011. She is revered by her students and her colleagues. She was named our 2020 Regional Teacher of the Year, and please welcome and joining in welcoming. <laughs> join me in welcoming Alyssa. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting such a, a lengthy and, and kind introduction. Thank you so much. Um, good evening. Thank you to Shirley Skidmore and everyone at the Clackamas ESD for all your behind the scenes work um, to plan this event. Uh, it's wonderful to have an opportunity to celebrate the work of our students and all of the art educators in the region. Um, as an art educator and art advocate, I would be remiss if I didn't use this opportunity to highlight the transformative power of the arts. Um, we know that all sectors and industries need creative people. We need innovators. We need outside of the box thinkers and well-rounded Renaissance humans in all fields. The arts are essential. I say this as if you don't know it, you do. <laughs> um, we can't forget about the less tangible benefits as well. The arts build empathy, compassion, growth mindsets, 
self-confidence, and provide cathartic outlets. We can use the arts to communicate and explore rigorous and challenging subject matter to reflect upon and question identity, representation, and society as a whole. All this and more while we have a lot of fun and get messy. Uh, perhaps my favorite experts to reference are my students themselves. A former student of mine, Kimberlyn, shared with me recently, this class has helped me realize that I don't need to just keep everything to myself. Art really helped me to open up. Not only did it make me feel better, ooh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> uh, it helped me to be a better person. I've been so busy and stressed with school, work, and family that I forget what it's like to feel at peace. I'm so thankful for art. Uh, another former student, Gracie. Art education is important to me because it helped me learn how to learn. I wasn't diagnosed with ADHD until I was 23. My grades in high school were all over the place because I didn't know how my brain needed to learn. Doing ceramics and other hands-on projects helped me to learn that oftentimes I need something tactile to produce the same amounts of dopamine and norepinephrine as a typical student to help maintain focus for longer periods of time. And lastly, one of my current students, a freshman, Stevie, uh, said, art education is important to me because it allows me to express my thoughts and feelings in a multitude of ways that don't require words. It's impacted my, my life immensely when it comes to seeing and appreciating the world and its oddities and beauties. It teaches me to have a different perspective on life and the things that others may find un, unneeded or unwanted. Um, many of you art teachers out here know this to be true. Many of you students out here know this to be true. You hear stories like this all the time. Um, so it's really wonderful that we get to celebrate these young minds together. Um, so now it's my pleasure to then launch into our high school awards, um, presenting honors for our ninth grade winners. We have some great prizes for both of our winners at this grade level. Um, our first prize winner will receive one month of, uh, and one class at One River School plus one camp pre-college discount on summer 2022 program um, at PNCA, and a $100 gift card plus art supplies from Venvivo Art Studios. Our second prize winner will receive two months and one class at One River School, pre-college discount on a summer program at PNCA, and a $50 gift card uh, plus art supplies from Venvivo Art Studio. Um, it's an honor for me to present the ninth grade second place honor to one of my students, Kairos Maurer, of Malala High School. Uh, this is a beautiful colored pencil piece. The original is actually uh, in Nigeria. <laughs> um, we did this project as a part of the Memory Project. Some of you art teachers might be familiar with this, but for those of you who aren't, the Memory Project is a nonprofit um, that uses <coughs> art to create cross-curricular connections and promote kindness. Um, and so we, we have sent the original to Nigeria, but this is a, a gicle print of a colored pencil um, done by a wonderful freshman who could not be here with us today, so I'll be accepting um, on Kairos' <coughs> behalf, uh, but I know he'll be excited. Um, I'm also very pleased to present the ninth grade first place award um, to Hope Seneceros of Clackamas High School. <coughs> Um, for her beautiful watercolor piece that you can see here titled Pensive. Um, congratulations to Hope. Um, is Hope's art teacher here? Would you like to come accept this on her behalf, please? Congratulations. Um, with that, I get to exit and let Larry continue. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, so, thank you so much, Alyssa. And we appreciate your sharing your passion and love for art and teaching both. Uh, we are going to move into 10th grade awards and we have two honorable mentions in our 10th grade category. First of those uh, honorable mention awards goes to Zoe Shager of Sabin Schellenberg Professional Technical Center in Milwaukee. Zoe provided a, or submitted a digital print titled Mammoth Hot Springs. Our second honorable mention award is presented to Caitlin Hung of Adrian C. Nelson High School in Happy Valley. Caitlin here. And she did a compelling series of self-portraits uh, that were created with colored pencil. 
Our third place winner in 10th grade is Henry Cyphers of the Sabin Schellenberg Professional Technical Center. He, did, he submitted a digital design application to a piece of bisqueware. In second place, our winner is Scotty Weiler of Estacada High School. Scotty submitted a pen and colored pencil drawing of a landscape featuring colorful robins called Robin Family. It's truly beautiful. Our first place award is presented to Emily Bison of Clackamas High School. For her <laughs> Emily submitted a beautiful untitled ceramic piece featuring coiled organic forms. And Emily, I have to tell you, I looked at your submission almost every day. Thank you. We're going to talk now about 11th grade awards. And we are awarding two honorable mentions. The first of those goes to Michael Topia Lopez of the Sabin Schellenberg Professional Technical Center. <laughs> Michael submitted Dinosaur National Monument. Our second honorable mention is awarded to Rose Robbins of the Oregon City Service Learning Academy. <laughs> Rose submitted an intriguing floral foam and acrylic sculpture called The Veins of Life. And I have to admit, it looks so heavy. I had to pick it up and it was really light. Yeah. Our third place award is presented to Morgan Bem of Malala High School. Morgan submitted this beautiful colored pencil portrait of a young boy titled Abdullah. Second place honors go to Lily Shrimster of Lake Oswego High School. And she submitted this charcoal drawing titled Looking Down. Our first place winner for 11th grade is Hannah Olson. Hannah is a student at Clackamas. Yeah. Hannah is a student at Clackamas High School, and she submitted a captivating oil painting titled "The High Priestess." Truly beautiful. Yeah. Now we're in the twelfth grade awards. Prizes for the grade twelve winners include first place awards of a $5,000 renewable PNCA Art Excellence Scholarship, one month of a class at One River School, one camp from One River School, a $100 gift card and art supplies from Venvino Art Studios. Second place award winners will receive a $5,000 renewable PNCA Art Excellence Scholarship, two months of a class at One River School, and a $50 gift card of, for art supplies from Venvino Art Studios. Our third place award winner will receive a $3,000 renewable PNCA Art Excellence Scholarship and one month of a class at One River School and a $25 gift card and art supplies from Venvino Art Studios. And our honorable mention awards will receive a $2,000 renewable PNCA Art Excellence Scholarship and one month of a class at One River School. The scoring for these was very close, and it was close at all grade levels, but especially at 12th grade, where we had 40 amazing entries. So we will start our 12th grade awards with the distribution of five honorable mentions. The first of those honorable mentions is presented to Nola Carstairs of <laughs> Westland High School. Noah submitted an untitled watercolor painting centering on several female faces. Our next honorable mention award goes to Ashley Lewis of Lake Oswego High School. She submitted this colorful dreamlike acrylic painting titled A Walk in Pajamas. 
I love the title. Another honorable mention award winner is Helen Lenjacek. Is Helen here? Yeah. yeah. So and Helen is from Clackamas High School, and she submitted a heart-wrenching acrylic paint and colored pencil work that focused on childhood trauma, and it's titled, Why Didn't It Go Away? Our fourth honorable mention award is presented to Jillian Donahoe. Donahue, sorry. <laughs> Donahue. We should have had you stay. Jillian is from Clackamas High School also, and she submitted Agoraphobia, a black ink pen drawing devoted to how phobias take hold of us. And our final, final honorable mention award for 12th grade goes to Denise Mock of Clackamas High School. Denise, this was another one of my favorites, and it's a thoughtful mixed media piece called The Shade of Origin, which features multiple materials that reflected a theme of generational trauma. Now to our three top three winners in our highly competitive 12th grade competition. Taking home third place is Jada Johnson of Lake Oswego High School. Jadis submitted this joyful graphite drawing of a young boy titled Summer in Pine Hollow. Our second place winner is Jamie Liu of Lake Oswego High School. <laughs> Jamie produced this mesmerizing acrylic painting of two women titled Return Home. And our first place award at 12th grade is presented to Reese Stain of Lake Oswego High School. Yeah. Reese submitted this engaging charcoal drawing of two girls studying, and it's titled Math Tutoring. So please join me in just giving one more big round of applause for all of our high school winners. Now we have a few traditional special awards to share. Uh, three final awards that we're going to be presenting. And, and uh, thank you again to our board chair, Byers, and vice chair, Linda Brown, for helping us distribute these awards. Our board members are some of our biggest fans uh, for this art show, and their support really allows us to continue offering this as a community event each year. First of our three special awards is our best of show, and this award goes to the student with the highest cumulative score from all six of our judges. The winner of this award will receive a tuition waiver for one class up to four credits at Clackamas Community College, two months of one class at One River School, and one camp at One River School. And this year, our best of show winner is Reese Stame of Lake Oswego High School. Now, now this is a repeat victory for Reese, who also was our best of show winner in two. 2021 when she was a high school junior. So congratulations, Reese. <laughs> Next, it's, it's our tradition here at Clackamas CSD to have our staff vote on their favorite piece in the show. Students have to opt in to being eligible for this staff choice award because we will purchase the winner's piece for $100 for ongoing display here in our building. Not all students want to sell their work, so, which is understandable but very frustrating. Um, <laughs> so staff had just under 100 pieces to choose from this year. Uh, this year's winner of our Staff Choice Award is Jamie Liu of Lake Oswego High School. <laughs> There we go. 
And the final award for this evening is new this year. Jada Rupley, my predecessor at Clackamas CSD as superintendent, retired last summer, and she is a champion of art. She founded this art show uh, seven years ago to showcase our regional students, student artists. And in her honor, we are offering the Jada, I said Jada because we have a student here tonight named Jada, who, Jada, <laughs> Jada pronounces it Jada, the offering the Jada Rupley Superintendent's Choice Award. The winner is selected by me, and we will purchase this student's art for $100 to display permanently in our building. The winner also will receive a pre-college discount on a 2022 summer program at PNCA. And once again, only students willing to sell their art had their pieces considered for this award. So I'm pleased to present the very first Jada Rupley Superintendent's Choice Award to Adina Lozavan. Uh, Adina is a sixth grader at Enza R. Wood Middle School in Wilsonville. And I have to say, Adina, that each day I would look deeply into this portrait. Uh, it's a colored pencil portrait called the Emerald Eye. And I knew that each day as I looked into it that I was looking at something that was magnificent. The brilliance of the color and the realism were just so incredibly captivating. So I want to congratulate you and thank you for sharing it with us. I'd like to take a photo. Yes, and she's in the sixth grade. <laughs> Finally, tonight, I'm pleased to let you know about a special extension of this art show that was made possible by Lisa Smith of Youth Arts for Change. Lisa approached us about creating a special exhibit of our regional students' work during the month of May in the lobby of Clackamas County Public Services Building. Lisa selected 15 artworks for this special exhibit, and with these students' permission, their art will be on display May 4th through May 25th at this visible county location. And participating students are Jewel Andrews from Oregon City Service Learning Academy, Anwesha Chowdhury, uh, and Maya Nugent of Athey Creek Middle School, Jillian Donahue of Clackamas High School, Rachel Gavrishov and Caitlin Hong of Adrian C. Nelson High School, Mercedes Gearhart and Kaylin Kang of West Lynn High School, Ashley Goenauer and Emma Thist Thistle of Gladstone High School, Max Limer, a student at Clackamas ESD's LEAP classroom at Gladstone High School, Finley McLaughlin of Lake Ridge Middle School, Kairos Maurer of Malala High School, and Leonardo Navarro Gonzalez of Bra Baker Prairie Middle School, and Marcelino Vu of Meridian Creek Middle School. All of them will have their art featured, and I encourage you to visit it there. Again, many thanks to Lisa Smith for making this special event happen, and congratulations to all of these students. Let's give them a round of applause. Finally, I just want to say once again, thank you to all of you for being here and coming. I want to congratulate all of our participating students and their families and their teachers. And thank you so much for sharing with us, sharing with us your creativity and your inspiration. And it's just been a joy to uh, appreciate your art together. Uh, I want to encourage all of you to stay and browse if you haven't seen the whole show and remind you there is plenty of food out there and be sure uh, to uh, and welcome yourselves to more if you haven't already. Thank you very much again for coming and we hope to see you again next year. Yeah.